How's my hair? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> A little bit more of a specific topic today. We're talking about the New York Islanders and kind of the Tampa Bay Lightning and kind of the Toronto Maple Leafs. But really, the Eastern Conference leaders right now are kind of amazing when you look at who's there and how they got there. The surprise is the New York Islanders under Barry Trotz right at the top of the Metropolitan Division. How did they get there? How do you feel about it? And why are Islanders fans talking so much crap? It's a little too early to do that. Yeah. Yeah, guys, um, the Maple Leafs got a lot of star power. Lightning got a lot of star power. You should tone it down a bit. You don't have as much star power. Islanders fans should chill out. If, if you if you take anything from this, Islanders fans, look at me. Look at me. Get no. You know what? We're gonna make eye contact. Chill out. But let's be honest. There, Barry Trotz coaching is now fortified as maybe one of the best coaches in the NHL. He did this with Nashville for so many years, and now he's doing it on the island with a team that really started out the season with no hope whatsoever after Tavares got traded. But it does show you that one man does not make a team. And funny enough, the Toronto Maple Leafs are right underneath the Islanders in the table, or the standings, depending on what country you're in. But it's an interesting part of the season, heading into the All-Star break. What do you think? Are the Islanders still going to be there at the end of the year? Toronto and Tampa, are they going to rise up and continue to take over? Comment below and let us know what you think. Did, did you say Tavares got traded? He, yeah. he didn't get traded. That's why they hate him. Tavares signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs in the offseason, and that's why the Islanders don't like him. So, so now I have no, to. I just, uh, yeah, now I have yeah. to cut here, yeah. and then I gotta like. Yeah. I just gotta like jam I, I, in I another wish, piece of just I, in the middle of yeah. a monologue. I, I wish I could say that I did that on purpose, but I forgot. <laughs> gotta thank you all again for liking these videos. If you want more of these, please make sure to like the video and share it. It does a lot for us in terms of getting it out there, so we continue to make this great content for you. This is the most produced segment I've ever done. Lee Elias should have been a host, not anymore. I'm out.